Welcome. Modded Hero YouTube channel. If you like video, you like button, okay? And don't forget to subscribe for you to miss all of my awesome, really super long, boring videos. But this is not the situation. Today, I will show you how to do autopilot Red Dead Redemption online. So you know those times when you gotta travel from one side of the map to the other side of the map. Well, this is a short demonstration of how you can get from point A to point B with very little button interaction, just as long as nobody screws with you. First, you just start off, then you go into cinematic mode. Tap the button X a couple times, and now you're on cruise control. You'll maintain this speed all the way to your destination. If you want to go faster, you tap X a couple more times. If you want to go slower, you tap R1 a couple times. I'm close to another player, so hopefully they don't shoot me, but maybe they're just hunting. As you can see, I'm not controlling this in any way. My hands are both off the controller. You hear me clapping? I'm not touching the controller. Nobody else is in the room with me. So it'll just go all the way from point A to point B, all by itself, including turns and turnarounds and avoiding people. Now, if you're wondering how I got two horses online right now, I'm currently trying to figure out how to sell wild horses. Alright. I think we're almost close. Nope. Not even close. So we'll just step up to that. For oh, I see the horse is a little hungry. Does it help? That was for me. I'm on a roll. There we go. This fucking carrot will do the trick. Oh, here's a little cool trick. You want to see some fancy walking? I... There we go. Fancy walking. Now we're gonna run. So now my hands are free of the controller, and we're just going to watch it until it gets to the station. There are some hiccups. Sometimes it takes a second for it to figure out which way it wants to turn. Especially when I have my horse trailing it. But I'm literally over here, like, getting a drink, and I'm able to use both my hands for whatever nefarious actions, like getting a drink, or using a lighter, or going to go tell my kids to clean their room. Well, I got about half an hour left. And then I gotta go.
Bad things that can happen while you're in autopilot mode include being attacked by a uh, mountain lion or cougar or whatever, or attacked by gang members that you just happen to be cruising past their hideout. Um, of course, other players, if they don't know that you're not supposed to attack people in this game. By the way, pro tip number two of this video, anybody kills you for no reason, just go ahead and press left on the D-pad. Okay, now bring up players. You find the player's name, all right? I'm not gonna actually report anybody, but let's say this person did it. You go down to report, and you can pick disruptive behavior. All right? Disruptive behavior includes any action that prevents other players from playing the game in a normal manner, including griefing. All right. And that's how that's done. Look at this horse. He's dead tired again. I need money. Lots and lots of money. Okay, we gotta be close. There's a train track. Look, lightning bug. Nope, it's a wagon. Yeah, well, for a horse, you got no stamina, so how does that make you feel? Don't accidentally, don't accidentally start a mission. What are the chances are that this m m does it? Zero. fucking map trying to get rid of this fucking horse ladies and gentlemen well
Pleasant evening. That's true stories. The autopilot's working, guys. I wasn't even in the room. It wasn't even in the room. He traveled across the map online. Wasn't even in the room. What a miracle. He had to get a charger for his controller. The slow walk all the way there. And now you know why I didn't want to give this horse any of my fucking food. Notice I haven't bonded with this horse one iota. See, the theory is that if I can sell a horse, then I could, I could break a horse, like I'm riding this horse right now, and I could rope another horse. And I could take two horses traveling with a pack of three horses because my horse just follows. Then I could sell potentially two horses at a time. And if they were give me more than a dollar, that's freaking faster than missions. But the trouble seems to be that nobody buys horses. Here we go, we got a stable right here, it's going to say, I cannot stable this horse. Ah! Oh, were you going to make money in the game? No, no you weren't. Alright, we're going to try this fence. We're going all the way up the map, like I said. We're going to sell us a damn horse today. Honestly, though, I don't see this being faster than killing animals. and ev Just killing every animal you fucking see. And then selling all their pelt. Unless this gives me like 50 bucks, because then that would be awesome. My biggest gripe about any Take Two and Reactive game is their fucking economy. Like, they don't deserve to make billions of dollars, but yet there they are doing it. Nope. Won't let me sell a horse here either. The place that sells, that buys horses online, or in story mode, does not buy horses online. What a crock of shit. I wish we, I wish we could do a, oh yeah, I want to aim at the dog. I want to aim at the, me and the dog are going to have such good interactions. I could pet it or yell at it. Not seen you before. Who told oh, you about me? Fuck. Bye. Stay safe and quiet. That's it. 